Okay, guys, how you doing? Um, it's early on Thursday morning. I think it's about 6 a.m. And I just want to record a video on when you guys are back to the mats, whether you're in a two-man group or a four-man group. What are you doing during that time? How am I spending that time? I just want to be clear with you guys. What's the best use of your time in that hour? So you're going to be back to the mats uh, twice a week with your four-man or two-man and the important thing is that we don't get greedy, that you stay within that group, that you don't change. That's the whole idea of how this thing can work. So if someone was to get sick with something, that they would just keep it within their group and it won't spread to the rest of the school. So I think we all know that already. So please stay in your group and stay in with your time. Um, we're gonna be doing this for the next few months to see how it works. Um, but the idea is that if you stay within those rules, that will make everyone safer. Uh, that being said, what do you do during that time? So you have an hour. So let's go through it. I'll try to go through it concisely and quickly. So first thing is when you get in, uh, first thing is come on time, all right, and be consistent. So if you have a 12 o'clock training time, make sure you're there at 12 or a little bit before. Um, and don't come in the building before, come in at 12. Um, and then if for some reason you can't make it, let your partners know what's going on. Uh, if it's a one-man group and you can't make it, that's a big deal. If it's a four-man group and you can't make it, not as a big a deal, but there will be one man out. So let them know beforehand so they can just understand what's going on. Uh, and if it's obviously if it's a two-man group, then, then that's going to be tough because they're not going to have anyone. So you definitely want to let them know way early. Um, so first thing is, you're responsible to make sure that you're in charge of your health, right? Uh, I don't want to leave this a chance for anyone. I believe that the cleaning by the group before will actually be pretty good based on just our uh, values at the school and how people are operating, how responsible they are. But I don't want you to trust that. All right. So what do you do? I've already done this. I've practiced this with my group. Just do a light cleaning. So open up the two doors. Do a light spray, you can adjust the nozzle on the cleaner, a real light spray, wipe down the mats. Um, and then from there, you when if the doors are open, if you're, if you're inside, you got a back door and you got a front door, that's gonna create airflow for you. So if you are on mat one, you open up the door, there's a, there's a, a little weight that you can prop it up with. If you are on mat two, um, so mat one is on the schedule is red. Mat two on the schedule is blue, and mat three on the schedule is green, all right? Mat one is the front entrance. That's what you're gonna be going into. Uh, and you will use the small bathroom, all right, to, use, to go to the bathroom. Mat two will be the back entrance, the Rutgers painting entrance. Um, and, um, but if it's unlocked, if it's not locked, you'll actually use the, the back entrance because that's where the key is. Um, but that's what the door that you can open to create airflow. Outside, you don't need any of this because uh, you'll be outside, no doors. Uh, so what you'll do, you'll come in, you'll do a light cleaning of the mats. And at that point, you can sit down and start to stretch. By the time that five minutes is over, uh, uh, you'll be done stretching five, seven minutes and the mats will be dry enough that you can actually do stuff. So uh, whether you're in a one man or two man or four man or two man, I'm gonna go through this. So then from there, um, you wanna keep, obviously you can talk when you're stretching, how you doing. So uh, you gotta make it an active stretch when you're visiting because you wanna make sure that you use the time. Don't get caught in talking for 15 minutes and just sitting on the mat. I've seen that and it's nice to catch up with people, but you're not really using the time. And the other person doesn't want to interrupt you because you're telling stories and you're hanging out, but that's not what you're there for. You're there to actually train. You're obviously there to visit and also, but the main reason is there to train. You can visit outside of the school. So five to seven minutes, you are getting the mats lightly washed. And then from there, you are um, drilling. All right, so you're stretching and then you're drilling. So what you wanna do is you wanna start out with a nice slow drill in the beginning and you can drill in a couple different ways. You can do 
I'll do three moves and then you do three moves. Or you can use the timer and say, hey, I'll do moves for two minutes and then you do two moves for the two minutes. You also can do, hey, I'll do a move and then you do a move. Um, so that's a kind of a flow drill. So uh, if you, someone does a sweep on you, then you're gonna do a sweep on them. If someone does a pass on you, then you're gonna do escape on them. Um, you can do it that way. So whatever you're doing, you're doing a slow drill and you wanna do that for probably around 15 to 20 minutes. Um, you can also do, uh, even before that, a little bit of, hey, uh, can I work on stuff for four minutes? And then you work on stuff for four minutes. So it's, you have like a large amount of time to like figure stuff out and ask questions, especially when you first get, hey, does my hand feel good or that? Does that feel? So it's, it's, it's a nice drill session however you want to use that drill session and you can ask your partner. So drilling for the 20 minutes. And then from there, you want to do about somewhere between three and four live rolling sessions of five minute duration. All right, that'll be a 20 minute as you get to it. Um, so don't kill each other, especially the first roll, chill out. Um, and you can do 30 second rest periods in between that if you want. Um, so that'll be 20 minutes of rolling. That'll be 20 minutes of drilling. That'll be 40 minutes, five minutes of cleaning on the front, five minutes of cleaning on the, on the back. That'll get you back to about 50 minutes. So the change in the in-between times that will cover your time. So you're coming in, you are cleaning, drilling for 20 minutes, going live for 20 minutes. And after that, doing your cleaning and then closing it out, all right? Um, what are you drilling? Well, at this point, you're drilling stuff that you remember from before, just getting back into your game. Or if you've been following the online stuff, online curriculum, the curriculum class that Jimmy's been doing, uh, concept class on Tuesday, or the curriculum class that I've been teaching on Monday, then you're using that stuff. And you'll see for the first couple months, that will be enough information for you to really just get back to it. All right, hope it wasn't too long. Hope this is helpful for you guys and we'll see you back on the mats. All right, please pull out, fill out the survey if you have not and just be patient while we take our time to get you back. All right, thanks so much.